see too much of that in this particular set. Yeah. But it's really hard to say. Mm -hmm. Chape also had a lot of experience in this matchup before his huge level up uh, to number one in Chile. Blassie was a formerly active Chilean fox who inspired um, inspired him by beating a, a lot of people in that in that region, right? So he definitely has a lot of Chape has a lot of experience in this matchup, playing Blassie a lot yeah. in that region. And Blassie is a, a strong player too. Like I remember he came to SoCal, got PR SoCal, and uh, just did really well there when he was there. Yeah. So if Chape's beaten him and taking inspiration from him, you know he's a threat. Yeah, and also had a, uh, Chape also had a very close set with Panda at a rollback event, starting to train in the U.S. as well. Mm -hmm. So happy yeah. to see that. Happy to see all these international players really putting in work in, in a tournament like Smash World Tour. Yeah, I think it's also just great. I mean, we've talked about this a little bit as well, but I think it's just great getting this like spotlight on some of these lesser-known regions because there's players in these regions who don't really have as many opportunities to travel or aren't as well known because of their inability to travel. Yeah. And we're just seeing them, you know, come to this tournament, go game five with Magi, take, be up a stock on Cobalt, et cetera. Yeah. So it's great to see. Yeah. Can't count anyone out. I don't know. It used to be a time where we felt like North America just dominated everything. But that time may have, may have passed. Yeah. Well, either way, we got an even game right now. Two stocks to two on FD. Uh, clean chain guard from Cobalt's part. I think he was going for like an F smash or something like that, but uh, Chape's side B goes through it. Misses Ooh. the ledge dash. You hate I to think, see it. I think it's Chape who's actually SD twice this set, not Cobalt. Well, oh, the port switched. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, according to the, the layout, Chape would be player one. Yeah, now that the other. It was a joke. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, I yeah see. No, he, he's got the tag. All right, all right, all right. Interesting down smash. I, I like going for the four, uh, the downward angled forward tilt there to try to cover the ledge, but it's just interesting going for like a down smash at a lower percent to try to send off stage. How do you feel about going FD as the, the starting pick in, I a, think in a matchup like this? I honestly like FD. I'm definitely a chain grabbing fox when I need to be, mm -hmm. but I think it's just getting the stage out of the way and getting a feel for your opponent when you know that they have like a different style for you, especially okay. in the fox setup. I think that doing that as well as like getting an idea of how well they're able to tech chase and chain grab. Like this, this stage is a very, very uh, clear indicator of punish game. Mm -hmm. So like, if you're able to hit all those chain grabs perfectly, if you're not able to hit the chain grabs, but you're able to like do like back the tech chases and such, and if you know your opponent is like capable of it, it might determine what stage you go in the future. Right. So, I also think it makes like the neutral a little bit more linear. So yeah. You can have like a really good understanding on how they want to approach in a lot of these situations. Exactly. So it's interesting. Yeah. yeah. So Cobalt with a very quick game one, by the way. Yeah, that was fast. Literally lightning fast. And that's just sometimes what happens on Fox. It was clean F smash, hits the side B this time, and the get up attack into the Armada Shine, take the stock. You can hear people in the crowd just screaming. Like, everyone loves Cobalt. I want to say that was Kelly. <laughs> that, was, so, that was totally Kelly. 100% <laughs> Kelly. That was the Kelly yell for sure. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, the double shine? Tries to crouch cancel shine, the uh, up B, but I think a little bit too high percent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Crazy angles as well. Yeah. Just that position was very difficult to cover from Chape's end because you could go back to ledge. You could go, oh my god. That just jumping out there and hitting with like the bare, bare tip of the boot with the back air is wild. I feel like I don't see other foxes go for it. Mm -hmm. He might still die, but just going for that option was crazy. Yeah. Gotta threaten it sometimes. Yeah. Oh, that might just be the KO. Maybe. How, how did it reversal I, I, like I don't, that? I don't. I have no idea. <laughs> Crazy nair into the F smash. Uh, Cobalt has been loving these F smashes. Edge guard. You can see. You can hear Kelly yelling again. I love it. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> she's popping off. She's yeah. popping off. But speaking of popping off, Chape with the quicker mana shine and popping off uh, in the cam over there on the top left. Yeah. Wow. Covers the jump from ledge with the nair on Cobalt's part. Really good awareness and understanding of like how. Chopper's gonna try to recover. Yeah, he's crazy. Oh my God! These three F smashes. <laughs> That's three F smashes for the KO. And he got he got the uh, crouch cancel shine as well. Like, I see him going for some of these like less used options. Mm -hmm. And even if it doesn't work out, he'll just go for it again because uh, he's Cobalt. Yeah, the really nice part about the F smash in particular. Oh wait, let's let's wait for this combo. Mm -hmm. I F smash again. 
It's crazy. He loves so, these up smashes. The nice part about F smash is it's got it like a little higher uh, hitbox, so you can actually cover some of the side B angles that Choppy has been threatening. Yeah, and it lingers too. So even if like the side B comes out a little bit later, it'll still hit, even mm -hmm. if you do preemptive uh, F smash. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that Back just going to be it? That might be it. Oh, I thought he was going to go for a shine instead of a back air. I think he, if he did that, he might have gotten the stock. But I, regardless. I agree. I agree. Keep Cobalt in the corner. But Cobalt gets the reversal. And he, he, not the greatest DI. Yeah. Center stage back air will get the KO at like 90%. So not the, the best DI there. Yeah. I feel like if he had DI'd a little bit towards like upward left or something like that, he might have been able to side B and be a little ambiguous with whether he lands on stage or not. And then yeah. maybe just go for an up B or something like that. But, uh. That with that DI, you have to go for the side B there, and you're gonna die. Mm -hmm. So Choppy thinking about it. I think that Cobalt does really well in the scramble situations. Yeah. So I feel like I feel like we're gonna see a larger stage kind of pick, like Dreamland. If yeah, <laughs> like there you Dreamland. Go. Uh, I feel like Choppy likes space, and mm -hmm. he's very. Like, I, I saw a couple of other sets. He's very good when he's able to get his opponents up. <laughs> <laughs> As I was literally saying that he Cobalt just zero nuts him. No, I completely I completely agree. Um <laughs> it feels like Cobalt wants to have a smaller stage, but even with a bigger stage like this, still gets the huge combo to start off this game. Yeah, like his game punish three. game is still amazing, even on big like, even on bigger stages. So he's just a really good player overall. It feels like his punish game is even more polished than the, the last time I've seen Cobalt in tournament. Yeah, I mean he's always practicing. Yeah. Always playing. Like he's, he loves. I mean, if he didn't love the game, he wouldn't be here right now, and wouldn't be playing the game for the last like 15 plus years. So, literally every combo we could hear Kelly just screaming. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> every combo you love to see it. I really hope Shaq could hear this too, because <laughs> yeah. I'm loving this. <laughs> oh man. The back throw. The choppy on the board gets the. Cobalt doesn't uh, cover the up B and gets the up B into the up air, and that's like something in general with the Fox Hitter, where it's like. If you land a side B or an up B and your opponent misses, <laughs> <laughs> misses the work. I will say it feels like Choppy is not going to the ledge that often. It feels like Choppy is doing like the straight angle a lot, which is why the forward smashes are working. Yeah, or I, going on stage. And I feel like the older school foxes are super ready for on stage edge guarding. Yeah. I, that was just an on stage edge guard. Yeah. But on Choppy's part this time. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And uh, yeah, I agree with you. I think the reason the Cobalt's going, because uh, you don't really see Cobalt go for F smashes like all the time. Oh, that's oh, going to be big. Oh, no. Oh, the And he goes for the shine this time. Shine is smart. Shine Again? is really yeah. smart. You got to do. Those oh, the, he's back just commentary. Back here. Oh. Jab into shine. That was so good, actually. Really yeah. Good, really good. It covered so much and landed the kill. Mm hmm. Chop is still in it. Oh, goes to like. No. Is he listening to us? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, what is, what is going on? Know? We got some sloppy, sloppy melee happening. Edge guards missed galore. Now he's going to ledge every. Like, he goes to ledge now because he realizes Cobalt is going to cover on stage. Yeah. But it's only a matter of time before Cobalt decides to just grab the ledge and roll up. <gasps> if oh, it's God. even needed. Dang, Cobalt with the clean 3 yeah, 0. Very clean. Fast. I mean, the internet wasn't super clean, but overall, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> very, very clean set. Super solid play from Cobalt's part. Um, mm -hmm. He was hitting everything. Very good understanding of how Choppy was going to recover, and yeah. as a result of that, was able to use like these F smashes to just keep covering those onstage recoveries. Uh, Choppy was starting to get the hang of uh, what Cobalt was doing and started going to ledge. It's uh, like only really on that last stock, right, that Choppy was like threatening some of these different uh, angles with Firefox. Yeah. That ha need that needed to happen a little bit earlier. Yeah, because we saw three F smashes on the FOD game, right? Yeah, and, and they those all were all like pretty much towards a little bit higher, so it's kind of tricky, I guess. Mm -hmm. But and at the lower yeah. percents, he was using Crouch Cancel Shines because he knew that right. Choppy was going to up B into him. Right. And let's uh, check out this replay real quick. Oh, the chain grab. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was clean. Yeah, that was very clean. Very clean. Mm -hmm. Just standard and clean play. Yeah. And you just got to have those bread and butter sometimes. Yeah, the bread and butters matter so much in a, in a ditto, like the Fox ditto in particular. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you got to have those bread and butters. So... It adds up to, to so much. And also, speaking of bread and butter,